All right, welcome to this week's vlog where we'll be answering some of your emails. Let's get right to it. First of all, I also want to thank all of you for sending in the emails. We do answer them all online and some of you get to have your emails answered here. I got this little handy clicker here so we can zoom in a little bit and uh, talk to you. First email comes from Gary. He says, hi Dave, I was wondering what to spray on my young tomato plants to help with the bugs. Love the website. Well, thank you very much. Glad you do like the website. One thing that I like to use is neem oil. And uh, neem oil is an organic uh, concentrate. It's an insecticide, fungicide, and miticide, so that works pretty well. The other thing you can do is simply look for pyrethrins or permethrins, and uh, that's the ingredient in some of the types of chemicals that we can use on things like tomatoes, vegetables, in the garden, and they're not really that harmful, which is also a good thing. If you're not organic, there's a whole list of things. Just head to a local store, and I'm sure you can find something. So... Got another email. This comes from Barbara. She says, I'm having trouble with pine trees. They have developed a rust color and they are dying from the bottom up. The tops of the trees are green, bottom branches have died and have fallen off. I have five trees infected with this problem. They're afraid they're going down the car property line. Do you know anything about this? Well, unless I actually come there, it's really tough to tell exactly what it is. It could be a root problem. It could be a fungus issue as well. It sounds like it may be one of those. The best thing to do when you have one of these issues is to actually get a certified arborist into your place and take a look, have them take a look at your plants because they will know. And ask some questions. Ask who they dealt with and uh, that should help. The other question comes from Kay Afonso and she asks about lilacs. My question is in regard to those. She wants to know, when is the best time to replant the bush? And the best time to replant lilacs would be early, early in the spring, before the leaves come out. The second best time is late in the fall, after the leaves have fallen off. That's also a good time to replant them. And uh, we have another question. This one comes from Ron. He says, I have a Rose of Sharon in front of my condo. It's into its third season. Earlier this year, our units were power washed and then painted. It seems like it may have caused some problems but the rose is barren. We have cut small branches off and there's still green plant underneath. Should we wait? What should we do? Well, if you can see a little bit of green on a plant and you're patient, just cut off all the dead stuff this time of the year and let the plant rejuvenate. If there's green, it is still alive. You just might have to be patient to get it back to exactly where it was just a year ago. Thanks a lot for watching my vlog this week. Please send me your emails and come back often for all our tips here on growingwisdom.com.